500 kilometers west of Tokyo, the ancient capital of Kyoto keeps alive many of Japan's old customs and traditions. One such Japanese tradition is Obon, a summer festival for families to honor and pray for the souls of their ancestors. It begins on August 13th with the lighting of lanterns and candles to summon the dead souls from the other world. In this Kyoto cemetery, the glow from 10,000 paper lanterns welcomes the returning spirits. Obon ends on August 16th when huge bonfires on the five mountains ringing the city bid farewell to the departing souls in the Gozan Fire Festival. Each stick of wood for these bonfires carries a handwritten prayer or a message for a departed relative. The fires on each mountain are laid out in the shape of giant characters and pictures with religious significance. Scores of volunteers carry the firewood up the steep slopes and arrange it for the evening event. Festival committee members direct the volunteers in their work. It's more than just a day's work for these volunteers. They've been preparing since spring, and they take home new respect for tradition and a desire to preserve old customs in their own communities. Stacking the huge piles of firewood is a back-breaking task that starts early and takes all day. At nightfall, the summer heat lessens as a gentle breeze rolls off the mountain onto the waiting crowds. At 8 p.m., the first fire is lit. And a 160-meter long character shines out against the dark mountainside. This character, Dai, means big, but it also represents the universe in Buddhist philosophy. The watching crowds enjoy the fires from the cool of the riverbank. While the volunteers on the mountainside suffer the heat at close range. After the first fire is lit, the other four mountains then blaze up one by one. residents and tourists turned out to watch the fires in the last big event of the Kyoto summer.